Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to configure network type in OSPF. As you can see on my screen, well, this is 40k 6.4.0. And uh, under the OSPF configuration, you will not have any configuration related to network type. So if you want to change the network type, you'll have to get into the CLI. So you will have to first get into the OSPF hierarchy and then you will have to uh, find out the interface for which you are going to do the network type change. So in my case it is going to be port 2 just for testing. Uh, FYI if you change the network type it has to be common uh, between the peer who is forming uh, the edge SSDs. Otherwise, the peer uh, will not bring up the OSPF states to a full. But in Cisco, I have seen uh, if you have network type as broadcast on one end and that interface is connected directly to other routers interface and that interface is in point to point uh, network type, it does comes up uh, with full state OSPF. So, in Juniper, I have tested this mismatching network ID on that mismatching network type will not bring up the HSNCs. I have tested the same with Juniper firewall and I have tested with the Cisco firewall, Cisco routers, and it is actually bringing up the OSPF uh, to full state. Um, we will try to see the same behavior on 40 gate firewall by changing the network type so i'm going to change for port 2 so first of all you will have to get into another hierarchy which is ospf interface now under this hierarchy you will see the ports you just have to edit the port now you can see the configuration here so i'm i can type so you can see here this set type network type it is showing up by default it is broadcast so i'm going to change it to point to point Okay, so now the network is in point to point. So you can see here the port 2 which is configured under OSPF is uh, showing up as point to point network type and on the other end I have SRX device So
Okay, so So you can see here, it is in default uh, mode, which is broadcast. So I haven't given any explicit configuration here. So now the okay, that's strange. Even after changing the network type on 40 gate firewall, the 40 gate firewall is bringing out the adjacencies. So this is the port that we are working on right now. And you can see here type point to point. And in this type, in this particular scenario, our SRX device is configured as broadcast. And even though, even though they are both configured with different network type, the adjacencies are coming up and it is actually in full state. So you can see here, it is in full state. Since it is uh, configured as point to point, it is not electing any DRBDR. But then at the same time, if you go to SRX, and if you try to see the in neighbor, So it is again not showing any DR or BDR. So I believe if you have one device as broadcast and another device in network type point to point, it does comes up. But if you have two Juniper devices and if you have a mismatching network type, so in my case, it was not coming up. So let's try to clear it one more time, just to be very sure.
So it is again going in full state. And there is no DR, BDR. So on 40 gate, I'll try to clear the process and I'm going to check the neighbor. You can see here it is in loading state and it is again going to full state and it is showing it is showing the state as full but there is no DRVTR election since it is in point to point. All right, guys, uh, that's all in this video. And to summarize everything, if you have a 40 gate firewall with network type point to point, and if you have another device in front of you, uh, like Juniper, and if there is a mismatching network type, there are times where, as in 40 gate, will bring up the adjacencies. But if you have configured your interface in point to point network type, you will not have any DRPTR election. And in Cisco, if you have two devices, Cisco devices, if you have a mismatching a network type, um, one end broadcast, other one in point to point, it does comes up uh, with full state. But in Juniper, I have seen that uh, the HSNCs will not come up if you have a mismatching network type so i have not tested this with some other uh, network type so before closing everything i would like to test that as well I guess if you put point to multi point, you will have to enter the neighbor individually. Okay. So you can see here, this is multi point. So it is still in loading state. This guy is in point to multi point and SRX one is in broadcast. So let's see if this will bring up the, okay, it, it is again bringing up the edges and pieces. That's really a good finding here that no matter if you have different network types here, 
like I changed it to point to point, I changed it to point to multi point, but then the adjacencies, uh, there is no effect on adjacencies, it is coming up pretty nicely. So, one of the criteria to bring up the adjacencies are like you should have a common network type. Well, I don't see here in this scenario, so maybe we should redefine our adjacencies criteria. All right, guys, that's all in this video. Um, please do subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and stay safe. Have a good day. Bye bye.